Hi everyone, this is Joseph Sang. Today we'll be talking about an adjustment of status application success story. This is also a motion to reconsider success story. It's kind of joined together. These are always the ones that's most interesting, right? So adjustment of status is where you're applying for a green card. You're in the US, and that's why you're adjusting for status to get a green card. And um, there's a lot of requirements, but in particular, there's one very specific one where you need to prove that you are currently in the U.S. in lawful status. What does that mean? Well, there's tons of different statuses that you could be in the U.S. You could be an international student. You could be a tourist. You could be under other types of non-immigrant uh, visas. You're an executive. You're an extraordinary ability performer, etc. Right? Well, our client was adjusting for status. His mom petitioned him and his time is up and now he's time to adjust the problem is that his current status is a student an f1 student now typically that's not a problem but the officer said you are not a lawful student because you fell out of status when you were in high school you didn't maintain your student status back then even though you got your student status later on because there was a period that you were illegal here, therefore we are denying your case. You need to apply for a waiver or you need to go back to your home country. The client was devastated. He graduated from the top 20 university in all of the US. He has a master's degree. He has a clinic. He's a young professional. His life is established here. To force him to leave, just to wait for paperwork processing for maybe a year, two years, is absolutely insane, especially because his entire family is already in the U.S. And why? It's because of this technical difficulty, uh, technical error that wasn't his fault, that happened when he was a minor, etc. But the case was denied. He found our firm, and we filed a motion to reconsider for him. Now, this is a motion to reconsider, not a motion to reopen. And the difference is that we are not providing new facts to the officer. We're not... A providing additional things that he didn't know. We're just saying, you got it wrong. You have all the facts in front of you, but you applied the wrong law. You have concluded the wrong conclusion, <laughs> essentially. Motion to reopen is, well, you didn't have all the facts. Here, let me give you some more. Hopefully that will be able to change your mind. So we did a motion to reconsider, and we argued that he was a minor, and also the fact that he was able to get reinstated in the school that corrected his previous error, and so he is lawfully in the U.S. in valid status, therefore being able to adjust status to get a green card. Um, it was a very technical motion to reconsider argument. The officer reviewed it. Oh, oops, I got it wrong. Human error, reconsidered the case, and his adjustment of status was approved, and he got his green card. I mean, this is almost life and death for our client, right? His, he, would he would have had to close down the clinic, leave the country, it would have been disastrous. But it's very interesting and very technical, and sometimes these officers get it wrong. And I know it's absolutely insane to a lot of my clients and to a lot of people who talk to me that um, something of this severity can be taken so lightly because you're talking about somebody's entire life, where they're living, their family, their finance, their career. It's not just whether or not to issue them a permit of some sort. It's insane. It's just their entire life in a particular country, their dream, shut down because of a minor error. And again, USCIS government workers, a lot of times they're overworked. They're not trained on all the latest memos. I think they only have like 20 minutes to 30 minutes to adjudicate each case. And that includes reading through all the documents and doing background check. And they just don't have the time to do that. And sometimes mistakes happen. But motion to reopen and motion to reconsider is there to correct these errors. And um, we're very, very happy that the officer was able to see the documentation and approve the case. And we're really happy for the client that they're able to get it. If you have any questions about your adjustment of status application, whether or not you qualify any particular issue, feel free to schedule a call with us. We'll be happy to take a look at it. If it's something we can answer, we'll help you to give you the guidance. Thank you and have a great rest of the week. Take care. Bye-bye.